Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have for you a 7 by spring video. Um, I am starting this like a maybe like 15 to 20 days late um, and I will be going away twice in that time so I don't know how much progress I will actually make. So I did try and pick some um, products that I know I could get some good use out of. But anyway, without further ado, I will introduce you to my product. Um, the first thing is a sample size of the MAC Original Fix Plus. Um, that line is where I am. I absolutely love Fix Plus. I use this pretty much every day. Um, so I know I can get through this in the next few months. The next thing I have I found while I was doing my makeup inventory. So... This is the NYX Translucent um, HD Finishing Powder. I do have quite a bit of pan on this already. Um, my hope is to finish this, but because it is a powder product, I don't know how much progress I can actually make because powder does tend to take me a little while. But I find um, repressing sometimes helps, so maybe I will end up repressing this to see if I can get through this quicker. The next thing I have is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. This is in the shade uh, W2 Light, Light Ivory, yes. Um, I use this today on my skin. It does give a nice uh, light coverage, or it's buildable, which is great. Um, I This is the second time I purchased this, and I found the first time I threw out this little puff, but like I had a friend that used it and she said that it worked better with the puff than the brush. So I decided to keep it this time and to use it this time and I did like how it applied on my skin better um, using this little pad, I guess. Um, so when I decided to add this to my 7 by Spring, I thought it was an almost done product, but it turns out that I had already used the one that was almost done and found a second one in my stash so I was like you know what just gonna do it get it over with the next thing I have is a Maybelline green concealer stick um, so the way I figure these out is I will open this up all the way which that is all the way there is not much left in here and then I will put it around there and mark it and so that little cap is how much I have left um, I do use a green concealer a lot for breakouts and I have very red toned skin especially on my cheeks so I do like to calm that down before I do my makeup so I do use a lot of green concealer so I know I can really get through this product the next thing I have is something that I have no idea where I am at on this. I used this for a while and then stopped using it, and now I'd like to use it again. This is the Aveeno Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I am going to Florida for 10 days in January and like 5 days in March, so I figure a tinted moisturizer would be great because it is a moisturizer and it's a little tinted. It's going to give a little coverage. It also has SPF 30 in it. So I will be using this when I go on vacation, and... Probably also on days where I am home or just tooling around, not going to work, that kind of thing. The next product I have is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, this had a little bit of use, so I am here on it. Um, I like this for an under eye concealer, which is really what this is for. But I won't use this anywhere else on my skin except under my eyes, which is, it's great for under eye, but I... I will see. And then the next product is a very shameful product. This is a product I know I have had for a very long time in my collection, like before I really even got into makeup. This is by a company that no longer exists. Um, and the only reason I am putting this in here is because I did feel it, I smelled it, the product still seems okay. It has not gone bad, it is not rancid, it is not crumbly, it is still creamy and still blendable and easy to use. This is by the company Bebo. This is the Neutral Wet Dry Foundation. Now, it's got such a creamy consistency that I'm actually pretty excited to give this a whirl again. Um, I used this, God, years ago when my mom was um, owned her hair salon, so we're talking years ago. Um, 
and then found this in my stash and it looks like I could hit pan within the next few uses because there is like a pretty major dip going on which is great that there's already a big dip that means there's already a good amount of progress on this so my hope is to at least hit pan on this if not use it up during this um, seven by spring challenge all right guys that is it for my seven by spring challenge I love to keep my little project pans like the smaller ones in these little old Sephora play bags they're great for that they kind of keep all my projects separate um, so that's how I am kind of like distinguishing which goes where and then I also have a running notebook of my products um, but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.